If you are selling your products on Amazon, then at some time you might need to contact your buyer for any reason. For example, you have just received an order from your buyer as an FBM, but you are not having enough stock at your home to ship. So you might need to contact them to or wait for a while or to cancel the order. Or in second case, for example, your buyer has successfully received your product and they have actually used it for one week and now you want them to give their feedback like if they like this product or not. Or in the third case, if your buyer is having some problem with your product and they basically open a dispute or message you and you need to satisfy them. You need to inquire them about the problem so you can just resolve that problem or ship them a new unit. So if that is a case with you and in any other case you want to contact your buyer. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step by step process how you can actually contact your buyer for any kind of conversation you want. So this short video is going to be super super helpful for you if you're an Amazon seller then keep watching this video till the end. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on seller central right now and from here, I need to click on these three dots and go to order step and click on manage order because in order to contact that buyer, we must need to find the order and then contact that buyer. So here from this order tab, we first need to find that order which is already completed because this will not work for any pending order or the order which is still not shipped. So you can see that here for this order, payment is completed. So I just need to click on the order ID of this order. So when I click on that, so here I can see all of the detail of this order, like on which date this order was received and shipped and what is the name of the buyer. So here you can see that it's a contact buyer button and here's the buyer name. So if I click on that buyer name, then I will be redirected to the window where I can just actually chat the buyer with the reason which I want to chat. And if you see on the above, there are two buttons, refer order and request a review. So if you want to request a review from this buyer, you can just click on request a review and ask them to request a review like if they like the product or not. Or in some case, if you want to refund your buyer because your buyer don't like the product or there is any defect on that product and that buyer has just messaged you that they don't like the product and they want to give a bad review. So in that case, instead of giving the bad review, you just need to politely ask them that I am refunding you the amount of money you have paid and you can just keep the money and product with yourself. So in that case, you can just click on this refund order. So that order will be refunded and that money will be credited into the buyer account. But for example, if none of this case with you, like no refund order, no request review, but you want to chat with your buyer for something else, so you can just click on that buyer name and here in the new window, you will be able to see this contact buyer option. So here you can see that you will be able to see multiple options like select the contact reason. So here you can see multiple reasons like confirm order details, coordinate large and heavy item, send invoice, others, notify the problem with your shipping or courtesy refund, offer a full refund. So now from this window, find the option which is super relevant with your case and click on that option and contact your buyer in this way. So now I hope you completely understand how you can actually contact your Amazon buyer if you are having any problem with your order. So that's it for today guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well, so you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video, till then take care, bye.